You're welcome to today's broadcast. Sure Destiny TV, reaching people and touching lives. Hello fellow Nigerians, greetings and salutations and compliments of the season. I'm sure you had a wonderful Christmas celebration and happy, happy new year. Well, 2023 is already here. 2023 is a year that is a destiny moment, a destiny year, a year that we're going to decide the fate of this nation. We're going to decide whether we continue with insecurity or we have peace in the nation. People are not safe in their home. They are not safe on the street. They are not safe at church. They are not safe in the mosque. They are not safe wherever they go. Whether they fly, they are not safe. Whether they go by rail, they are not safe. What kind of nation is this? The only thing we can do to turn things around, to change this nation, is a change of leadership. And this is the time for us to join our hands together, forget our mundane differences. Those differences those sentiments that relate to tribe, that relate to which part of the nation you come from, whether you're from the north, south, east or west, those things must not come to bear. Those things must not be what should decide who we vote for in 2023. We have suffered enough. If Buhari couldn't bring security, couldn't bring peace, couldn't bring safety, a person that was a general couldn't do it. Is it terrible that we do it? Is it article that we do it? Can't we people see the handwriting on the wall? Nigerian, please let's wake up. Let's do the needful. 2023 is the year that will either break or build Nigeria. You and I are the ones to make it happen. For us to bring true change in Nigeria, we must vote the right person. We need a person of integrity, a person that of competence, a person that will be inclusive, a person that is a unifier, a person that has a heart for people, not people that will come and rob us and steal money and empower people that will come and kill. People are suffering, people are in pain, and some people are still thinking about voting for people like Tinubu. Somebody that you can't tell how he got his money. People like Atiku, you can't tell how they got their money. And then when you talk about change, people are still talking about taking us backward. We are sick and tired. We want to see change. I am a northerner. We have suffered in the north. There's more insecurity in the north. So what are we talking about? And we keep saying, we as northerners, we must vote northerners. We have deceived us enough. Please, if you are a true northerner, this time around, you must be smart. Stop worrying about whether somebody is an Igbo. And people are saying, how will I vote an Igbo person? When you talk about Peter Obi and Yusuf Deti, they say, ah, no, we don't want an Igbo. What do you mean? Why must the Northerners govern? The Southwesterners have governed. Jonathan from South South also governed. But when it comes to the Igbos, we seem to have issues. And people are saying, we don't want Nigeria to be divided. If you are clean, why are you afraid? Why are you afraid of the Igbos? You've not included them. And only a few of our northerners have been the ones that have been in power, impoverishing our people. They are taking advantage of the poverty that is in the north. Keep the people poor and control them. Use them like zombies, like animals. A few people are rich at the expense of the others. And you keep claiming we want a northerner, we want a northerner. Northerners are the enemies of northerners. Somebody may say, why are you speaking like this and you are a northerner? I am tired. What do you mean by northerner? What are we getting from you? We just keep suffering in the hands of our northern brothers. Any true northerner that wants to see a true Nigeria, and if we really want to stay together as one nation, this time around, we must vote a person that will bring true change in Nigeria. This politics of money must come to an end. So shameful, some of you are selling your PVCs. The only card you have to be able to decide change, to bring about change in 2023. And people are selling their card for 1,000 Naira. For how long will you use the 1,000 Naira? They give you a bag of rice. They give you gari. They give you maggi. They give you a wrapper. So please, let's think. Let's be smart. If you sell your PVC, how will you vote? They will just line up people that they have paid people that they will hire and they will just go and use your PVC, they will use your card and they will vote for you. Then you will suffer another four years. Have you not suffered enough Nigerians? And somebody is still telling me, we are Muslims, no, we are Northerners, we are not going to vote an infidel, we are not going to vote Kabiri. What is the issue of Kabiri? 
I'm a Muslim, I'm a Muslim. I'm a northerner, I'm a northerner. What did you get from your Muslim brother? Is Buhari not a Muslim? Many of the service chiefs, are they not Muslim? Many of the people in government, are they not Muslim? What have you gotten? Being a Muslim, does it pay your bills? Being a Christian, does it pay your bills? Your belief is up to you. We are talking about change and governance in the nation. Enough is enough. Those of you that are buying people's votes, buying PVCs, you are wicked, you are evil. God will punish you. People are suffering and a few people don't care. All they just want is how they can enrich themselves, enrich themselves at the expense of the masses. But the time has come for the masses to take their nation back. This time around, 2023, let's not make the mistake we made before. Why don't we give Peter Obi a chance? What are we afraid of? You want to continue the corruption? You want to continue to kill? We are talking about one Nigeria, one Nigeria. But you want only a few of you to continue to govern. See the number of Nigerians that are living in IDP camps. Do we want until Nigerians die and people are coming from outside and taking over our nation? They are staying in forests, staying in caves. And Nigerians can't stay in their homes safe because of bad leadership, evil leadership. The time has come that we must bring about change. Don't sell your PVC. God will judge those of you that have held Nigeria hostage. Whether you like it or not, change is coming to Nigeria. You hear me now? Enough is enough. We have suffered enough. We are releasing ourselves from your hold, from your grip. Some of us from the north are talking about giving the Igbos a chance. I am so shocked and surprised that some Igbos are now fighting against their own brother Peter Obi because of jealousy and selfishness. Because maybe you have been promised something, but you will be surprised. You will stand in shame. 2023 election. The people will surprise you. I am calling upon the youth. Don't let anybody buy you. Whether there's money or not for campaign, you already started this movement. Don't relent. Keep on keeping on. If you have to trek, if you have to work on foot to get to where you need to go. During the election, make sure you man all the polling stations, polling units. Ensure nobody is going to cause confusion. All those people that come to disrupt the election so that people can run away, then they will falsify figures and cook up figures. It's not going to happen in 2023. 2023 is the time for everybody to stand in defense of true democracy, in defense of true freedom. Let's all go out there, mobilize the people, villages, on the street, everywhere. Tell your relatives, tell your friends. It's not time to relent. Hey, all the obedience, all the young people, remember this movement is not about Peter Obi, it's about you taking your nation back. I'm turning 67 this February. I knew how Nigeria was. When I finished from university, in Amadobello University, we had a house ready, we had a car ready, we had everything that we needed. But this time around, people have graduated for years, they don't have a job. University students are more at home than in school. The kind of graduates we are producing now, you can't really bank on them. And that's why we must bring about change. And when we talk about Obi, people think that we have been bribed. Maybe they gave us something. How are we talking so passionately? How much did Obi give to all these young people all over Nigeria that went on the street with the rallies? They did it on their own. Up to now, it's a sacrifice of the people to take back their nation. And I want to call upon you out there that want to see a new Nigeria. Don't be tired. I am pleading with you. Just a few more weeks and it will be all over. You started so well. Don't give up. Don't relent. Don't turn back. Don't bother about who acknowledges you, who recognizes you or not. The little resources you have. If you have to sell something to make sure that we bring this vision to pass, let's all do it. This is the time to do it. This man, Peter, will be, and you still get it. If we allow them, we will truly have the Nigeria of our dream. And some of you are still trying to sabotage this thing. I plead with you, the Igbos, lay aside your differences. Lay aside your personal ambition. Join hands with the rest of us so that we can see the true change we are clamoring for. It is time for us to unite, whether you are from the north, south, east, or west. It doesn't matter whether you are Yoruba, whether you are Hausa Fulani, whether you are from the Middle Belt, it doesn't matter. This time around, we want to take our nation back. 
somebody may say, Doctor, you sound like you are angry. It's not about anger, it's just about being upset about the state of our nation. If it's not touching you, then I don't know what else will touch you with the suffering that people are going through. Even though I'm a northerner, even though I'm from Kaduna State, but this time around, it's not about the region you come from. It's not about what religion, what tribe. Let's forget those differences. They never helped us in the past. So please do the needful. Get your PVC, prepare it, save it, protect it. Don't let anybody buy your vote. It doesn't matter how much they will give you. Refuse their money. And if you must collect it because you need it, collect it. But please don't let the money make you to sell your conscience or to sell your destiny or to destroy Nigeria. Let's see a new Nigeria in 2023. I know you just celebrated Christmas as a round new year season and people are starting the year and you're kind of feeling like you don't want to hear somebody kind of challenging you like this. But I'm saying this at this time so that we can do the right thing. Get yourself ready so that we can vote Peter Obi come 2023. I want to say thank you very, very much for watching. Please share this broadcast with as many people as you can. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not already subscribed. And go ahead and like this broadcast. And I also want you to leave me a comment. I want to hear what you feel about this broadcast. Once again, I want to say thank you very much. Let's do the needful thing. May God bless you and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is your brother, Dr. Haruna Goro. Bye-bye.